few areas of the manosphere garner more attention or ridicule than the concept of the male personality type. Specifically, the idea that a man's way of being in the world can be reduced to little more than some Twitter-fueled version of Campbell, Greek, alphabet soup. Male personality type proponents claim that animal studies show a clear social hierarchy. And that understanding your place inside of it can provide valuable insights into the steps required to climb the ranks and reach the top. The opposition believes that these superficial personality types are based on now debunked science and do little more than hinder authentic masculine expression. So what's the truth? The truth lies in the middle. What the mainstream gets wrong about male personality type? Like anything relating to gender dynamics, the topic of male personality type is rife with dogma and confusion. And while I believe that there is some value to be gleaned from them, it's important that we establish a few foundational concepts to guide our exploration of this topic. 1. There's no such thing as a pure alpha male, beta male, or sigma male. First and most importantly, I want to be clear that there is no such thing as a pure alpha male, beta male, sigma male, or any other type of male. Every person on the planet is their own unique individual with their own unique set of traits and idiosyncrasies. Alpha males will still follow other men. Beta males will assert themselves. And sigma males classified as the cunning and manipulative type will let down their guard and put others before themselves sometimes depending on the individual. You're you. And while we can derive benefit from any tool that helps us gain a better understanding of ourselves these personality types are not gospel and they aren't fate. 2. The mask of masculinity and situational personality types. In the same way that no man is pure alpha, beta, or sigma male, no man operates from the same personality all of the time. Human beings are, first and foremost, adaptive creatures. Like chameleons, we alter our traits and characteristics to fit into the environments in which we find ourselves and respond appropriately to the social and cultural reality around us. Even the most alpha male will exude beta male traits when in the presence of more dominant and assertive men. Inversely, even the most beta male will express alpha traits in the right situations. Men who are typically reserved followers will step up to lead when they're comfortable and surrounded by people they trust or who are more submissive than they are. You might be an alpha at work, but a beta in your romantic relationships. Or you might be a beta with one group of friends but an alpha with another. The bottom line is that our personal expression changes based on the setting or situation we're in. For these classifications to be of any real value they must be considered holistically. Taking into account how we show up across life, not just in isolated circumstances. 3. On the fluidity and malleability of personality. Mountains of new research show us that our traits, behaviors, and even desires not only change with time but can be intentionally changed with effort and intention. In other words, personality isn't permanent. A man who is a submissive pushover can develop the trait of assertiveness and learn how to stand up for his needs in a healthy way. A shy and introverted man can learn how to become a social genius and express himself authentically no matter the setting. A lazy and unmotivated man can develop grit, work ethic, and ambition. When you were born, you were given the raw genetic material that made you who you are today. But who have you become? That's up to you. What does it mean to be a sigma male? Finally, we have the sigma male. The most recent addition to the pack, and no, I'm not going to include all of the six male personality types like gamma males, omega males, and delta males. In simple terms, men who fall under the category of sigma exist outside the alpha and beta binary classification. They're characterized as being highly independent and original with little or no regard to societal perceptions. To this effect, they will often break stereotypes, not conform to expectations, and generally pave a path for themselves that exists outside of what society expects of men. While sigma men were thought of as exception or rare compared to alpha and beta men, there has been an increase in sigma male mentality in recent years. Common traits of sigma males. 1. They love being alone, but he values other people. One of the first things anyone will notice about a sigma man is how much they value their own solitude. Despite having the ability to turn on their charisma and charm whenever necessary, sigma males are never more comfortable than when they're on their own. They're introverts who love having the time and space to think and decompress, because other people act like energy vampires around them, no matter how much those people may mean to them. With that said, sigma males still understand the importance of having valuable people around them, because they know that they won't be able to accomplish all their goals on their own. 2. They don't need a social circle to be himself, 
Alpha males tend to need structure because their personality revolves around the reflection of themselves off other people. They like knowing that they have control over others and they're manipulating others, for good or for bad. Their personality is so often built off the validation of the people around them. They have difficulty imagining who they truly are without the social circles they're a part of. While they aren't afraid of being a part of social circles, they don't drown themselves in social obligations and commitments the way alpha males do. They have the security of knowing that their personality exists fully outside of the bonds of other people. They don't follow trends, they often don't know what's going on in the world of celebrity gossip, and they can't stand the idea of being popular, let alone a social media influencer. He is the same person no matter what social context he may be in, and that actually makes him easier to deal with than most people. If you understand who he is, then you never need to relearn his personality again. He'll never let anyone or anything around him change him. Sigma males are made differently. The alpha male personality type. If you Google alpha male personality you'll get a dizzying number of search results defining an alpha male as a rich, jacked, ladies man who can cut down oak trees with his teeth and seduce celebrities like Gal Gadot with a paper bag over his head. QI roll. I, for one, believe it's time to redefine what it means to be an alpha male. Because the truth is, being an alpha male has nothing to do with the weight you push in the gym, the size of your bank account, or the number of notches on your bedpost. It isn't about leading the wolf pack. It's about being the leader of your own life. Knowing what you value and what you stand for, taking action toward your dreams, and creating the life you want rather than settling for whatever life gives you. Common Traits of Alpha Males 1. An alpha male is assertive. One of the key traits of an alpha male that distinguishes them from a beta male is their ability to be assertive. They know what they want. They have clear boundaries. And they're willing to take a stand for their needs. Knowing that if they don't know one will. If you're on a date with a beautiful woman and she's being rude to the serving staff, the alpha move is to call her out on her bad behavior and make it clear that you aren't interested in being with a woman who treats others poorly. Or, if you were passed up for job promotion instead of simply sulking and accepting your fate being alpha would mean addressing your work performance with your boss and making a case for why you deserve the new position. This doesn't mean that you need to actively seek conflict. But rather you're willing to engage in respectful conflict when your needs aren't being met or your boundaries are being crossed. 2. Alphas are internally validated. First and foremost, alpha men care about their own opinion of themselves. This doesn't mean that they don't value the counsel of others or consider the opinions of their tribe. But rather that they're able to validate themselves internally. They don't do something for praise or admiration from others. They do it because they believe it's the right thing to do and it's in alignment with their personal values and vision. What does it mean to be a beta male? Contrary to popular conception, betas aren't broke, wimpy guys who can't talk to women. In fact, some of the most beta men I've ever met have all of the outer trappings of success. They have a fat bank account, big house, fast car, and might even have easy access to sex. Their real problem? They have no backbone. No strong values. And therefore, no foundation as a man. They're living a shadow life. Instead of taking a stand for what they truly desire and expressing themselves authentically, they conform to the status quo and accept the life pushed upon them by society, their parents, or their social circle. Common Traits of a Beta Male 1. Beta males blame others. Rather than taking responsibility for themselves and the outcomes of their lives, betas blame others and avoid the burden of ownership. And why wouldn't they? When their entire lives are dominated by the desire for validation from others, it's only natural to resent the people whom you depend on for validation. They are blind to the reality that they have the power to change their future. Because accepting such a reality would require them to accept the disapproval of other people. They would rather blame their parents, wives, co-workers, and friends for their failures than accept the fact that success may require them to disappoint their tribe even when the tribe they have was given to them at birth, not selected and filtered based on the values they hold. 2. Beta males seek answers from others. Because of their desire to be liked and avoid rocking the boat, they seek the answers to every important question from other people. This doesn't mean that they aren't good leaders or that they can't solve challenging problems in isolation. They don't trust themselves when it comes to the questions that matter most. By valuing the opinions of others over their own, they train themselves to look externally for answers to the big questions. Who should I marry? Where should I live? What career path should I take? 
Instead of using their values as a guide and trusting their own vision and desires, they defer these hard questions to experts, gurus, and family members who are operating from a completely different set of values. And as a result, they almost always find the wrong answer. As I stated at the beginning these personality types should be taken with a grain of salt. They aren't gospel and they're never entirely accurate. What matters most is how you integrate the lessons and traits from these personality